Hi, I'm Ruben Rojas. I'm an artist, muralist, designer, just all around creative. I like to say that I took the scenic route in getting here. You know, I've been an artist my whole life, but I sure tried it to avoid every which way of, of owning this, going down every other path. And I'll tell you that story. Just a minute. So live through love is a way of life. Think of it as Nike, just do it. Ruben, live through love. Right, that's the whole notion behind it. I, I wanted to get as catchy, as popular, as well known of a phrase as just do it. And it's about living through love. It's an active choice. It's acting from the heart and it, it's being in service. And it's not easy. You know, it, it's much easier to operate out of fear. It's much easier to commiserate with with friends and family and co-workers on how the world is doom and gloom and you know delta variant omni variant all the variants and politics and you name it yes it's real but we don't have to live in the fear the same way that it's being dished out at us and by living through love you're just choosing to look at it through love and say okay what can i do how can i take responsibility do i have to wear a mask into the store cool i got it is it gonna affect me no it's just choosing empathy, it's choosing kindness, it's choosing compassion. It's living through love, not reacting or just sitting in this place of fear. So how did it start? You know, I, I stood up in a room of my peers once and I yelled out, I am love. And ever since then, I've kind of been painting it and writing it and talking about it and sharing it. And over the years of doing this, because I've been doing it for a while, I've kind of condensed the message into live through love. It's not just my art. It, it's how I speak. It's how I interact. It's how people interpret my art and my clothing and my murals and my message. It's a universal message. This is going to be a new platform in showcasing how people are living through love. Maybe they don't label it that. But what we're going to do is uncover that and actually share what living through love is how we all live through love, it's not easy because it's a practice. It's really easy to just get back into our heads, into our conversations, into our doubts. We've been in that space a lot. We've been in that space since we were kids. So it's like that, it's like clockwork. So doing the work and putting in the effort, it's like putting in reps in the gym. You practice, you get better. And all of a sudden you find yourself a little more patient, a little more kind, a little more self-loving, living through love a lot more often. Typically, I'm a visual artist. You see my work. You take it in through the colors, through the shapes, through the spaces and canvases that I'm painting on and creating on. But overall, I'm just, I'm a creator and being able to share this message on any platform in any means that I can take advantage of and use as an opportunity to talk to people and speak with people. This is gonna be a way to really hone in on the words and the message when you listen and hear Live Through Love versus taking it in visually and seeing it. Art is very subjective. So when you're looking at something, you're like, do I like it? Do I not like it? Is that color cool? Are the lines straight? What is the message? I use a lot of words in my art to walk you down a path already. I like to say that I open the door for you. You've got to walk through it, whether you understand it and how you want to interpret it for you. This will be a new way to experience what it is to live through love. So as an artist, I'm inspired by people, the people that interact with my work or people that are out there creating, sharing their stories and their work. You know, some of the, the people that really drove me and have made an impact on me are Kobe Bryant. You've probably seen some of my artwork and how I've honored him in his passing, but that was a person that I grew up with, born and raised in LA. I saw him come into the league as a, a little boy, basically and he exited him up. And there were a lot of trials and tribulations through his journey. That is someone that showed me what it is like to live through love. What is it like to persevere, to have grit, to grind, to continue to put in the efforts at the highest level of where you're competing, playing or operating at. And there's several people like that, that have done magnificent things on this planet. And honestly, a lot of them, you probably don't even know who they are. It could be one of your best friends that had that same impact for you or someone that saw me painting 
and shared the impact of what that painting was meaning to them in that moment. And that may be something that I'm going to share in a future episode as well, because these people hit me and landed into another place that just continue to inspire me and recharge why I'm doing this. I can't just do it for me. It's, it's, it's lonely, honestly. And when I hear the feedback and when I hear the stories, that's why I want to keep doing this. And that's what inspires me to share this and continue sharing it and doing it in as many ways as possible. So I'm a new father. I have a beautiful baby boy. I have a beautiful wife. And a lot of the questions that come to me are, how is your art going to change? How is your message going to change now that you have a child? And honestly, the answer is it's not going to change because I've already been going down the path of I want to leave this world a better place than I found it, knowing that one day I'm going to have a child, which I do now, and maybe another child, and they may have children and continued so on and so forth. So everything we do in life is a ripple effect. It, we're contagious. People that are really excited, really optimistic, really positive, tend to gravitate toward other people in that same energy and that same field. And that's what I mean by we're contagious. So if we continue to do this work, if we continue to live through love, we continue to show people that even through the hardest times, we can choose this way of living, we can leave the world a better place. And now that I am a father and, you know, it's going to come down to people say they don't have time. I don't have time. I'm running multiple businesses, doing multiple things, being a good husband, being a good father. I still go train in the morning. I mean, we get it. We all don't have time. It's just a matter of what you want to put your efforts into. And again, that's just another pillar of live through love. Choose how you want to live your life. Choose what you want to do every day. Choose the way you want to practice. And if things don't happen to line up, don't say I don't have time or I'm too busy or no, just say, you know what, I'll get to it later. Maybe it's not important for me right now, but what is important is what I'm doing over here and I'm killing it. So art is the primary medium in what got me started and got me started down the path. But what I'm really talking about here and what the truth is and the nuts and bolts behind Live Through Love is self-love. What are you doing for you? to be the best person you can be to yourself and show up in the world and to everyone you affect as that person. And I wholehearted believe it comes down with saying, I love you to you, being kind to yourself. And that is in anything you do, whether it's you go to the gym, you go do yoga, you meditate, you listen to music, you cook, you dance, you shout, you create. You fold an iron laundry. Everyone's got their own way of, of processing their emotions and processing their stuff. As long as we come down to the path of self-love. People get confused sometimes. They're like, oh, there goes the love guy, or it's this guy, or you're so this, that, and the other. And it's honestly, it's, it's not the unicorns and the cupcakes and the sprinkles or Hallmark moments or Valentine's Day. That's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is when we're depressed, when we're in the corner, we want to be held and saying, I love you, Ruben. That, that's what we're talking about. That's what's going to change the world. And that's how you're going to feel better about yourself. So what do I want you to take away from this? That words matter. That what we're choosing to listen to matters. That what we're choosing to watching matters. You know, when I paint a mural, there's these bright, huge colors and letters on a wall and it grabs your attention and snaps you out of your days and you look at it and you're like, that's really cool. But now in this case, we're talking about words and words are important and words are powerful and I use words in my work. So it's another way to express myself and, and I really hope it, it lands to someone that may not drive by my murals or see my artwork or know who I am. It's just a new way of sharing the message of living through love. So this journey of becoming the artist that I am today, um, doing and being who I was supposed to be, has been a roller coaster. Ups, downs, lefts, rights, you name it. Um, really high moments. I'm having a lot of fun. It is a lot of challenge. But I'm meeting some of the coolest people in the world. And 
I want to be able to bring those people to share their message on how they live through love. And we're talking about chefs and athletes and musicians and other artists and businessmen and businesswomen and politicians, you name it. Anyone that's acting from love, that's living through love, I want to show you how people are doing it. Because my way is not the only way. But if we come from love, we will change humanity for the better. But that's not all who's going to be on the show. I want you on the show. I want you participating. I'm going to have calls to actions. I'm going to have exercises and questions and things that are really to help me because I need to understand how to better emphasize this message, how to better deliver it, how to be more inclusive to the people around us. We all think differently. We all operate differently. So I'm looking forward to you writing in, sending your DM, sending me voice memos, videos, you name it. And I will be reading some of your messages.